If you're looking for something special to make this fall, try my recipe for Belgian pumpkin street waffles. They're made with pumpkin puree, pumpkin spice, and Belgian pearl sugar. I hope you'll try this easy to follow recipe. We'll start with three quarters cup of warm whole milk. Add one package of active dry yeast and stir well. Try using a small whisk to help dissolve the yeast. In a mixing bowl, add 16 ounces of all-purpose flour. I like to weigh the flour on a kitchen scale, but if you're measuring using cups, it's about three and three quarters cup. One tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice and one teaspoon salt. Stir the dry ingredients together using a fork. And I'm using my favorite blending fork again, and I use this on almost every recipe. So I'll leave a link in the description. You can check it out. Add the milk and yeast mixture to the dry ingredients. And the melted butter, about one and a half sticks. Two large eggs. One teaspoon vanilla. And I love Watkins baking vanilla. And one half cup pumpkin. You can use canned pumpkin, or if you can find a little sugar pumpkin at the grocery store, you could roast it in the oven and make your own pumpkin puree. But there's nothing wrong with using canned pumpkin. I like to mix the dough by hand for this recipe, but you could use a stand mixer if you want to. This makes a really sticky dough. Be sure to blend in all the dry ingredients. You can switch to a large spoon or spatula to scrape the sides of the bowl and finish the mixing process. Cover the dough and allow it to rise in a draft-free area for at least 30 minutes, but probably no longer than 45 minutes. Now it's time to add the Belgian pearl sugar. It looks like a lot, but keep in mind this is the only sugar added to the dough. Make sure to add the pearl sugar after the dough rises. If you add it before the dough rises, the sugar can dissolve, and we want it to hold its shape. The pearl sugar caramelizes as the waffles bake and make a nice brown crunch on the outside. Keep folding the dough, and you can press the little sugar bits in as you go. All of your extra effort and hard work will pay off in the end. These waffles are so good, you're gonna love them. They make a nice holiday breakfast or brunch, um, a special dessert, or a late night treat just because. Now for the fun part. I'm using my favorite Belgian waffle iron. I'll leave a link in the description box for the waffle iron, Belgian pearl sugar, and a few other things that I use today. Lightly brush the surface of your waffle iron with a little vegetable oil. 
you'll only need to do this once at the first of the baking process because the dough has quite a bit of butter in it already, so the waffles won't stick to the iron. I like to set the waffle iron between four and five. They bake about three minutes, but you might need to let it go a little longer because you want the waffles to be nice and brown. This recipe makes about eight large waffles. I like using a large scoop to transfer the dough to the waffle maker. The dough contains raw eggs, so using this scoop will keep your hands nice and clean. Now would be a good time to start a pot of coffee. One thing that makes these so good is the texture. They've got it all. They're crispy, chewy, and soft. You can find a link for the full recipe in the description box below. I really hope you'll try making these, and if you do, let me know how they turn out in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.